Sportswoman of the Year. And the winner is my home girl from Limpopo, Casta Semenya. Hier is een van die beste atleten wat Zuid-Afrika ooit gezien het. Ons moet daar toch die toekomst. Zij is slecht 18 jaar oud. En zij had de Brianna atleten stukken in die 1500 meter op die omlik. She really is an incredibly gifted athlete, this Kester Semenya. Absolutely made for this 800 meter event. The time is going to be very close to two minutes old, but she wins the gold medal, Kester Semenya. This junior athlete from uh, born in Polokwane. And uh, she is starting to dominate this two lapper. That's mm. Casta Semenya. Before we get into that conversation, let me just tell you that you have to check out the new deal from Debonair's Pizza. It's uh, called On The Double Stacked. And you can now get your favorite On The Double Pizzas stacked. So you can get two large pizzas, double stacked each, with a cream cheese filling and your choice of two flavors. Now that's a mouthful. Debonair's Pizza, try something amazing. Casa Semenya in the studio with me, two times Olympic uh, gold medalist, uh, as well as three times world champion in the 800 meters. The others, you know, Commonwealth Games, gold in Jay, just and in Jay for all regularity. We've had many conversations on Sport at 10 with Casta Semenya, but over the last year, Casta, it's mm. been really a dramatic year. So let me just start with, let's say, April 2018. Mm. The IAAF in April came with these rules. They came with new rules, changing things, making us know about terms we didn't even know about, differences in sexual development. What is that? Like, w explain to people at home what's going on when it comes to these new rules, what, what's being said out there. I, okay, I'll, I'll just cut it uh, more in short. Um, the rules are, are made uh, to alleviate uh, women with a high testosterone level mm -hmm. uh, to compete uh, in uh, normal events but they, they specifically chose uh, 4815, so which is, um, doesn't really make sense if you, you're gonna choose the, like three events. Mm. So obviously for one to, to take part in uh, those events, she would undergo a hormonal treatment, which is you have to take whatever drugs to, to you know. To lower your testosterone. To lower your testosterone. So yeah, basically that, that's it. So yeah. IWF says we want athletes with high testosterone to lower their testosterone levels. Mm. That's the rule that comes out in April 2018. Yeah. You made a choice then, right? Yeah, you chose course. to fight. You yeah, could have yeah, just yeah. you could have just said because Custer, you have high testosterone naturally yes, occurring. Yes. It's not cheating, it's not mm. it's natural, it's in you. It's what it's just normal. Like this is the thing that I think boggles most people's minds is that if you have naturally occurring mm. testosterone in your body, yeah. why should you be penalized? But mm -hmm. you choose to fight. Yeah, of course, of course. Because there was the option to simply follow the rules. Yeah. Why not just follow the rules? Uh, for me, it doesn't make sense for me, you know, to change my body. You know, if I have a testosterone level, I have a testosterone level. So uh, I'm just a woman like uh, any other, you understand? So it doesn't really make uh, uh, any difference if I have a testosterone because I, I don't think it, I have an advantage because mm. I train as they do. Uh, okay, let's say instead I have uh, that high testosterone level and then uh, I don't work hard. W w will I have those benefits? Mm. Uh, the answer is no. So it does not make sense. Uh, for me, the way I see it, it was more like uh, a target. Uh, you target someone who's uh, you know, like doing well. You check at their career. You see that they're always moving, you know, almost on a double decades. And then you see, what? Well, let me get rid of this human, you understand? So for me, I, I think it was like that because... Uh, uh, the, the, you know, the rules, you know, they, they, they implemented them after I've won, you know, four, eight, one, or five, which is for me, it's, it's like, okay, we want to get rid of Casta Semenya, mm. which is for me, it's not a big deal. Then obviously, as a human, you, you think, okay, I must fight for my rights, you understand? And then you realize that, okay, I'm fighting against, uh, you know, a big association that is uh, mainly, you know, dominated by, dominated by, like, you know, uh, uh, Europeans, you understand, mm. which is, you, you stand no chance to win against them. There's no one who's going to, you know, vote, you know, against uh, any other Europeans, mm. you understand, which is for me, it was fine. And then I was like, okay, uh, for me, the, ma the main goal is, is not to win the case, basically, because I know I'm not going to win it. But the really? main case, of course, you, 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 you will not win the case because I've read it, I, 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 the, the data that they've collected, you understand, you, you, you see it, that you're not gonna win it. And then obviously when you see cares ruling against you, what do you the think? The court for arbitration for sports. Yes, that's what I'm saying. 
and then you go, you be like, okay, the main goal here is to raise awareness, you know, to raise awareness to people to see, you know, how this IAAF is, you understand? You really feel they've targeted you, Casta? Yes, I, I, like definitely. You specifically, Casta Simenia? Specifically, because if, okay, if they didn't target me, why uh, they didn't have this ruling way, way before? And it's all the events that you, because the time that you're saying the rule, you just run the 400 in yeah, the SA Championships. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. won the 400. Yeah, you then went and ran the 800. You won that in an, an amazing course. time. You then said, let me just show off and go to the 1500 as well. You won that at the SA Champs. Yeah. And suddenly the alarm bells yeah, were ringing. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. And then for me, it's, it's, it's not really a big, big problem because uh, when you're fighting, you know, for, for your rights, uh, it's all about, you know, winning people. For me, it's, it's, it's no longer about... Uh, <laughs> win in this case is about winning people's heart. Mm. So, you know, I'm a people's people, so it, it's, it's great. You said something earlier on. You said, yeah. I'm, I'm a woman like everybody else. Yes. Like any other woman. Is that something that people question? I, I think that people qu tend to question, you know, how you live your life, you know, how you're dressing up, you know, how you speak, how, to your, how you, you walk, which is, for me, it doesn't really make who am I, you know, who mm. I am, you understand? Mm. So uh, what defined me is, uh, you know, being me, me, you know, being me, me, so it's, it's, it's very simple. I just be me, you know, for, for me, you understand? So uh, how I, I walk outside, you know, how I live life, I don't think it matters. You know, what matters most is, is my actions, you know, how I rise, you know, how I treat people, mm. you know, I treat people with respect. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just being that. So for me, it's, it has always been that. You know, nothing else. You, you understand? So you take the fight on. Yes. You're saying, I'm going to go through this process. As much as you're telling us now that you didn't expect to beat the IAAF in, in the court for arbitration for sport or in the Swiss courts, yeah. you do go on the fight. Yeah, you do go now, did you go to court? Like, were you in the court? Were you in the hearings? Did you sit there and testify personally? No, on that one, you, you, I can't really talk about it because... I don't know what you... I don't want to know what you said. I just want to know what, if you were what, there. What I'm saying is that I, I cannot tell you the process <laughs> that, you know, we went, you know, on mm. in the court because on that one, I cannot discuss it. But what, what I'm saying is that um, when you see that, okay, this is what I've presented, you understand? And then... It's, it's right. And then the, the calm, you know, uh, 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 the hearing is finished, and then you get the results, mm. you understand? And then you see that, okay, these guys, you know, they have ruled against me. And then you go to Supreme Court, you understand? And then one judge pulls out. So to you, it does not make sense, you understand? It was suspended, it's cool. They suspended the thing, they yes. said you can't run. Yes. Then they said, no, we're suspending that you can't run, you can run again. Yes, that's what I'm then saying. And then obviously, if, uh, if one judge pulls out, to me, it's, it will be like, okay, now I see what, what, what's going on. But the main thing now for me is no longer about running. It's about fighting for women's rights, you, mm. know, you understand? There are a lot of kids, you know, with the same situation that I, I'm in. So which is they still gonna face the same problem, you mm. understand? That's what we are trying to do. Casta Semenya sitting here with us in the studio discussing the year that was for her and the upheavals and the ups and downs, the battle with the IAAF and why she has decided to go into this fight, not just for her own personal reasons, but in a battle for women's rights, a battle to make sure that youngsters uh, who will come behind her with high testosterone levels who are women should not have to go through this fight again. And Custer, that is something that's really powerful. It's something that's really important. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I, when I look at your fellow athletes, you know, if I go mm -hmm. back to 2016 and the Olympic Games and the comments that came from fellow athletes that mm -hmm. uh, around when you won that gold medal, mm -hmm. I cannot understand that they would say things like they were saying. I mean, aren't you all athletes? Aren't you all 800 meter runners? Aren't you all together in this thing? Aren't you all women? Of course, uh, we, we all women, uh, but of course, if you have that one individual who's, you know, always stand out, you know, the most, and then they, they do well, and then they're very, very special in the kind of their way, you, 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 sometimes you get, you know, intimidated, and then you get frustrated because you never win. But at the end of the day, you know, we, <laughs>
we go out there, you know, we, want, we, we all want to win. So, but then if I work hard, you know, I work like a slave, I'm going to win, mm. of course. Uh, but uh, then if you're going to give those comments and then after that you're going to regret or you're going to apologize, uh, we, we, we don't really buy it, you understand? Did me? they? Did they come out and apologize Some they will come and apologize. You, you just look at them, you know, they, they're just human. Anyway, <laughs> we all make mistakes. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to focus on that. Mm. You know, I, I, I'm focused on you know, being the ugly that I can be. And support from women in general. Yeah, like, of course. Where, what is that? Apart from your competitors, because maybe we yeah. can understand, I also yeah. want to win, Custer's winning. But from women in general, what's the support been like? Look, uh, with women, you, you, you got to be specific. Uh, of course, women do, do support me. But of course, there are some of the athletes, you know, who have got this uh, attitude, you understand? Uh, they, they, they all come there with uh, this tendency, you understand, of uh, hatred, you understand? Uh, of course, uh, if you are losing and then you, you never win, you, you, you'll come with the, this uh, suggestions, oh, no, they, they don't look mainly women. Uh, who cares? Who cares? Mm -hmm. we, we all athletes. We build differently. And then the day we all women, and then we want to be the best. Uh, at the end of the day, if uh, it's one winning, or let's say I was losing, uh, were you going to make those comments? No, because you're beating me, you understand? Mm -hmm. But just because I'm winning now, you, you, you have a problem with uh, my muscles. No, I, I, I didn't give myself those muscles, you know. <laughs> I was created by God, uh, which is we all created by God, you understand? He gave me my gifts. Uh, I accept them, and then I'm very happy with my features, you understand? And uh, I, I'm very proud, uh, uh, you know, to be me, you understand? Mm. And I'm not going to change because of uh, someone is saying that I should change, you know, so I can run with the other women. So if, uh, if, if, if you want me to change, I'm not going to change, and then... Uh, if you don't want me to run, then uh, I'll take my own, you know, space and then exit. You'll never consider taking the drugs? No freaking way. <laughs> Why? For who? For who? No. You want me to change events, I change events. You'll change Simple. events? Simple. Of course, I'll change events. Rather but then, than? Yeah, rather taking those drugs. No, man. Instead of those guys, you know, focus on the dopers, and you, you, you be there, you know, focus on people who are just doing, you know, sports clean. You mm. understand? So... Which is, of course, I'll change events. I'll surprise you next year. What are you going to do in terms of your athletics career going forward? Okay. At the moment, I'm still off-season. All right. I'm still like uh, 28 now, so I'm still young. I still got speed. I can still do distance, which is something that I'm still going to the drawing board with uh, my physicians. We have to decide which turn we're taking. And, um, of course, future is still great. We still have a 10 years of career unless Mr. Ko decide to add <laughs> those rules into other events, which is, uh, can happen any time. We don't care. And then, obviously, with my life, um, I ha we have a club. Ah, ah, wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah. You're saying, yeah, no, uh, we're ballet, we're ballet. I'm the not balleting. No, the ball of truth <laughs> still wants something more. Okay. So you're going to run next season. Yes, I'm going to run next season. What are you going to run next season? I can't reveal it now. Are you going to go up or go down in terms... Because you can't run from 400 to the mile. So that's 400. You can't run 800. You can't run 1,500. But you can run above that from 3,000 up or you can run 100, 200. It looks like you didn't watch that. You didn't see my interview when I was in Paris. Uh, I didn't. I said I can me. do anything from 100 meters to 5K. So next... In that space. Next year... Mm. You are going to prepare to run whatever event it is. You haven't decided yet. Yes. With what goal in mind? The goal is Olympics, as always. In 2020? Yes, it's like next year. You have to run a qualifier in that event. You've never been a in problem? a 3,000. You've never been in a 100. You've is, never... that a, is that a problem? Custer. Is that a problem? Hey, an athlete of my caliber, a problem. In my lemma's way, a problem. <laughs> Come on. That's not the problem. So, <laughs> I'm on top of my game, like I always say. So, you mess with me, you mess with an anaconda. The cobra. Yeah. So, next year, you still see me. I have a gift for you. So, just be patient. We'll, we'll see you back on the track. Yes, you still see me on the track. It's still early days. Ish, you know, I've got still so much.
You're studying, you're studying, right? Yes, I'm studying B Tech, which is I'm trying to push it so I graduate next year. I'm only left with three modules. And uh, then yeah. You're writing a book? Yeah, we we we, we want that channel. Mm, Becky is the one who's supposed to be revealing those. But there's me. a book coming. Of course, of course. We, What's it gonna be about? My life. Of everything. Course, everything. The scoop, the scoop, scoop. Everything. When can we expect it? I'm not yet, I'm not yet sure. But, but then are you ready? Are you writing? Are you busy? Everything is in here, man. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I'm like a rubber cop. I I'm going to give the two in the background here. <laughs> Guys, we need to go. So, yeah, I know you've been sitting there enjoying the view. Champonizer, <laughs> Joanne. What can we say about Casta? She's about to, uh, like, race off into a new event. All the luck. Don't take them drugs. Don't, don't, let, him, don't let him tell you nothing. That's a God-given talent. She's right. There you go. Champonino. Mm. Hashtag Casta wa Papa. Casta, you mean but what go high by the body? New me, new what what? Nutrition plan. Uja and Casta. But I won't level my page. I wanna get pizza men at Lana, so the potata, Malana, Minatana, the Kilana, the Vete. You name them all. Can you nutrition because of the old Magam Fadish? <laughs> so I you like you on song and then get the mic the motor of mo don't you go yam I want to say the going to a break Thank you to the Cobra for coming in and just speaking to South Africa. I think they've been really itching to hear it from your mouth, Casta. It's good to see that you're looking so great, that they haven't brought you down, that you have plans for the future. Yeah. South Africa's national team, Casta Semenya, she's been on Sport at 10 and she's told you what her plans are and the future is sounding too bright.